prepper here. I'm at Walmart. Been seeing some videos with people saying that their shelves are empty. And I am not seeing the same thing. Yes, I'm seeing some gaps, don't get me wrong. Especially in the freezer aisle where the eggs and the milk go. Although there are plenty there, there are gaps. You know, big ones. So, you know, it's looking pretty good. You know, yes. Yeah. There are some spaces, which is normal. Again, I am shopping late in the evening. It's 4 p.m. ish. And it's not as full as it would be like in the morning. But as you can see, the shelves are pretty well stocked. There's a large variety of everything. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago it was difficult to find varieties. You know, different brands of peanut butter and jelly and now there's several brands again, which is really nice. I'm going to walk around somebody, so I'm going to point you down at the floor. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Alright, so where are we? Pain relief. Yeah. I'm glad I stocked up on all medicines that we need. Because this isn't looking very good. And the prices have gone up a couple bucks. These used to be $13.14. No, these ones used to be 13, 14. And these ones used to be 15, 16. So, you know, they're up a buck or two. It is what it is, you know, it's what we were expecting. So, yeah. And the other side is pretty good. I'm in the wrong aisle for what I need. I just saw that big gap in the pain relief and where the Tylenol is and grew a little concerned, but it's okay. We're good. It's all right. And this is a little better stocked than the last time I was here. The one thing that I'm looking for is an eye wash kit. I can never find an eye wash kit for less than a million dollars online and eye wash kits at work we are not allowed to put in our personal bags so I am not seeing them right, I'm gonna pause you for a second while I go ask somebody if they have the eye wash kits back yet You guys probably saw those long before I did. I feel dumb now. But they are $3.98 instead of $0.99 cents like they used to be. And then eye patch. Now I'm lid scrub, huh? What is this? So I guess it's an air eye repair, huh? Cool. Alrighty. So anyway, now that I'm done being dumb and I have my eye wash kits that I wanted, they're not the exact brand, but they'll do. I needed an eye wash kit not too long ago because I could not get a, um, I couldn't get something out of my eye. It was a pain in the rear. Well, more like a pain in the eye. So, um, while there are some, still some gaps in this section, 
you know, um, it's not anywhere near as bad as it was. I, I think it was last month or the month before I did a walk through. I can't remember exactly. So <laughs> we're out of rubbing alcohol again and the larger bottles of rubbing alcohol and hydrogen peroxide again the little bottles are still here but not the bigger bottles and oh good they have witch hazel back i will definitely be getting some of that if i need to and um so yeah and Honestly, all the aisles look really good. Really, really good. I'm, there's a lot of people here. So, you know, there's not really any gaps. Um, you know, that are like ginormous. I'm gonna try to walk down to the water aisle cause that seems to be a section that's always empty whenever anybody goes to the store so yeah I'm on my way to the water aisle and I all the shelves have been pretty full along the way but the towels somebody either is buying lots of towels or they just aren't getting their shipments in Arts and crafts look good. Of course, these looked really good all along. But I am still on my way to the water. I just haven't gotten there yet. Oh, here we go. This is the aisle for the bottled water. Excuse me. The candy seems to be a little lax. So, yeah. The water definitely is a little more sparse, but we are definitely stocked up really well. I've been stocking up on water for a while now. And things are getting... Oh. Oh, excuse me. Things are getting a little bit crazy around here again. Um... Everybody is starting to talk about lockdowns, which I don't think we're going to get there again. So, I'm not surprised that this aisle has a few major gaps, but, you know, of course the packaging is a lot bigger. So it's easier to get gaps, and it happens quicker with the bigger packages. So, you know... It is what it is. If you're worried about toilet paper, just get a pack every payday or every other penny. No need to be panic buying, even when you see the shelves empty like this. You know, these are a big product. They take up a lot of space on the truck, and it's kind of a pain. So cleaning supplies. There are some gaps for the fancy stuff. Oh, I came here. This is the aisle that I actually need. And what I need are fifty five gallon contractor bags. If these are the right ones, then I will, of course, get online and buy more. But I tell you, those are twelve ninety eight right now. I don't know if you can see. And they used to be like 
$5.99 or $6.99, something like that. So garbage bags seem to have gone up a lot. So, yeah, we're good. I just don't want to forget the things on my list. I, I don't honestly need anything, but I'm just doing a payday prep real quick. Huh, paper products. Good luck getting paper products. They haven't had a truck for three days with paper products on it. Um, so the next truck doesn't come in until Thursday with paper products on it, from what I heard. The cleaning supplies are a little iffy, maybe. No, not really. There's a lot. But these Cascade Completes, $16.97, I used to buy them for $12.99. And no, the platinum were $12.99. I stopped buying the complete when the platinum came out. When I stopped buying the complete years ago, um, they were $9.99 for 78 taps. And I felt like that was ridiculous. So, lots and lots of Lysol and Clorox. And they have more of that in the back as well. There's a truck outside that's in the parking lot. Oh, I guess I shouldn't call it a truck. It's a, you know, one of their containers that they drive around. I'm hoping somebody writes down what I'm talking about in the comments down below, please, because my brain's stuck on stupid. I still have to go to work again. So anyway, there you have it. That's the walkthrough. As much as I'm going to do, there's an, <laughs> three quarters of the store. I didn't even go anywhere near. Um, but yeah, pet food. Tidy cats. Um, you know, there's there's just too this store is too big. And yes, there's little gaps here and there in the food, but there's really not that much. And there's still plenty of choices. So if you want to, if you're willing to eat a different brand, it's there without a problem. And I'm getting tired and worn out. Can you tell? You too. All right, guys. I got to pay. I will see you back at the car. And I'm back. And I'm done in Walmart. I didn't buy very many things, but there's not a whole lot that I need. And, you know, while we were walking around, we saw that there are a few gaps. Nothing like a year ago. And the gaps in my area are becoming smaller and smaller and less and less items. I noticed that instead of only having one or two brands to choose from, there were multiple brands to choose from. And rather than having um, only a couple of options for like different flavors and things like that, different styles there's actually more more variety from each company as well so that was really nice to see and that was really bouncy huh <laughs> anyway um but you know I've been paying attention to other shoppers around the globe who have been showing gaps and the gaps are much bigger. And the one thing that I am really noticing is that if you live in a rural area, the stores tend to have less items and larger gaps and even shortages. But here in the cities and the urban areas, I'm noticing that there's not as much 
of that going on. So, you know, I heard rumors that Walmart were, um, let me, I'm trying to remember exactly the way that they put it, but I can't, so I'll just use my own words. Basically, they're making sure that the shelves are full in the cities and at the expense of the small rural communities and the small towns so that they don't have riots on their hands and people panic buying and panic shopping. So I don't know if that's true or not. It's just a rumor that I heard. If you've heard that rumor too from somewhere other than YouTube, please leave it down in the comments where you heard it from and how long ago that was because I keep hearing it over and over again and it's not and yes I've heard it in the YouTube community as well but I but I'm I don't I I take what everyone says in the YouTube community with a grain of salt if they can't show me on a camera you know or show me video or show me a news report an actual legitimate news report um, then I'm going to do my own research and see it for myself. But I have even been out into the farming communities in my area, and they're pretty well stocked, though not quite as stocked as my area. So, you know, the more urban area areas that I shop in. So, um, you know, I would really like your feedback on that if you don't mind. Please.